All right, so this section of the video, I'm actually gonna be talking off camera. Uh, I want you to be able to see exactly what's going on down on the surface. So I have it set up for a good angle. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do first here is cut off my little pieces. So that's about all I use for one patch right there. Cut off another couple here. Now for the patch, I actually used um, a backing plate to go underneath. Uh, this stuff, when it gets molten, um, it, it'll run. It runs almost like water. So uh, I run, I put a piece of plate on the back. I took all the galvanized coating off so that I get less fumes, but I'll take my magnet like so, come underneath it. And then now I'm ready to ready to solder. So I have the thickness of the of the the sheet and a little extra um, that helps with the patch. Um, so that's kind of what you what you go for. Now, like I said before, make darn sure that you have your uh, your face mask on, so you won't be able to hear me talk for the rest of this. Now, what I need what I do here is get a cherry red. And you can't, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera, but once you see that gold, that's when you get the galvanized. So you got to put your mask on, get it cherry red, take your piece of galviz. Now in this case, I have a little bit too much here. Heat it back up, put your piece in there. And if you watch it, you'll see it change. The edges will get soft. So I got my nice fancy tool here. And I'm just going to push it in. And when you get really good at this, and I'm not there yet, you can make it nice and smooth really quick. So that's all it takes. That's, uh, that's one whole... That's one hole right there that, that it's patched. So I'll go ahead and move on to the next one here. Now this one's got a little bit of a crack in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it right there in the hole first, and then I'll come in with another piece and I'll do that crack. So I'm probably gonna need like that piece right there for the hole and then that piece right there for the crack. All right, so once you get it to this point, uh, this one I put a little excess on it because I'm actually going to grind on this one. 
Um, with the cracks and stuff, I wanted a little bit extra for the strength. Um, I'm gonna let that cool here for a second. I can actually speed it up with the air, the air nozzle. So that's what it looks like when it's done. There's absolutely no rain getting through there. No ice heaves, nothing. Works pretty darn slick. And you can see some of the easier ones like this one, um, they patch really easy. So um, I'll show you really quick here what the backside looks like. So when it's all said and done, you end up getting a little bit of stuff that comes through and it's good because it seals that edge real nice. Um, that crack is all filled and, and nice and bonded. Same with this one. So you got a little extra thickness even uh, where it went through. And it's, it's definitely solid and flexible. It, it stays with the tin. Uh, it doesn't pop off nothing. It's really, really, really a, a good fix. So with that, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. Um, again, uh, hopefully this was another helpful video. And uh, yeah, if you have tips, um, leave them in the comments, uh, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.